Hey everyone! So today, seeing as I have been having so much fun playing Kazuha, I want to go over a quick little tier list for his weapons, at least for his 4 star and above weapons, and find out which one is the best for Kazuha and which one you should be using on him. Let's go! So with that, let's start off with his first 4 star weapon I will rate, and that is the Animoma Kageuchi. Now this is the sort of new Inazuma 4 star weapon, and it's a decent weapon. So it offers attack in the main stat, which can be okay for a perhaps main DPS Kazuha but it's not ideal. It's passive as you gain succession seeds anytime an elemental skill is used and when you use your burst all of these get consumed and you gain energy based on how many seeds you have. So this can be okay getting to your burst faster but on Kazuha he never has any trouble getting to his burst so this is better suited on someone else but the attack is nice and so C tier. Next up we have the 4 star festering desire sadly no longer available but an all right weapon for Kazuha offering NG recharge which isn't the greatest as Kazuha doesn't really need it now then it's passive gives a nice boost in damage to his elemental skill as well as increasing the crit rate of it so not too bad now because of this passive it's not bad but just still doesn't reach the heights of his best in slot weapon and so C tier now then we have the Ellie flash now this is pretty good it's a four that has elemental mastery as its main stat which is really good as it is Kazuha's best stat as well as having a good passive that increases the damage of the character wielding the sword. Now this will get removed when you take damage so you will have to be running a shield character if you run a sword. But other than that a good main stat with a decent passive it's going to be a B tier. Next four star is the Favonia sword which can be okay on some characters but isn't that good on Kazuha. The main stat that is energy recharge which isn't that good and the passive is also an energy generating passive that will give additional energy particles on critical hits. This ultimately isn't that great and there are much better options even free to play friendly options than this so C tier. So we come to the battle pass weapon the black sword. So the black sword is great it has crit rate for its main stat which on main DPS Katoa is amazing. Passive increases the damage of your attacks. As well, it can regenerate your HP when you score a critical hit. So this is really good. Not only is the main stat super good, the passive is decent, the attack is okay. However, this is a battle pass weapon, so this is definitely not free to play friendly, but overall it's pretty good, so B tier. So next we have the Black Cliff Longsword. Now this weapon is pretty good. It's a shop weapon, so it's not always available. It has crit damage as its main stat, which is great for main DPS Kazuha to hit those high numbers. The passive is okay in that every enemy you defeat will increase your attack. Now this is, can be quite good in domains as you'll be able to get the max stacks and have high damage. However, in single target scenarios, this will be almost useless and so for this weapon, I would have to say C tier. Next up, we have the flute. So this is a very cool looking blade with a decent attack as well as having attack for its main stat which is great. Now the passive states that with each attack it grants you a harmonic sack that when you gain 5 sacks will get consumed and will deal an AoE blast around the character based on your attack. So pretty decent but definitely not the greatest due to its average main stat and underwhelming passive and so C tier. So now let's move on to the sacrificial sword has quite low attack with an energy recharge stat again not that greatest but now the passive states that every elemental skill has a chance to reset the cooldown of it meaning you could use the skill in quick succession if you get the reset now this is okay for Kazuha he doesn't really have a long cooldown on his skill so it's not the greatest it's much better suited on someone like Shinshu but it's okay so C tier now we have the royal lawn sword the second shot weapon in this tier list it has decent attack with attack on its main stat which is not bad. Now the passive states that every attack on the enemy will increase Kazuha's crit rate until you finally crit. Now the attack stat is okay but it's not the greatest and the passive while it sounds alright it ends up not performing nearly as well as the others. Other ones as if you don't crit you more or less have a passive not doing anything so D tier. Now then we come to another 4 star free to play weapon and that is the prototype Rancor. 
So this weapon has a good amount of base attack with a physical damage bonus main set which isn't the best for Kazuha as most of his damage isn't going to be coming from his main attacks, it is going to be coming from his abilities so this isn't the greatest on Kazuha. Now the passive is pretty decent in which it will increase the attack and defense every time you attack to a maximum of 4 stacks which is not bad and so I'll give it a C tier. So let's go on to the next weapon, the Lion's Roar, which firstly has a decent amount of attack with an attack main set and the passive giving you more damage against enemies afflicted by Pyro or Electro. So this is pretty interesting, however it's quite limiting in the fact you're going to need a Pyro or Electro character with a Kazuha, as well as if you proc the element, it will remove the element entirely and thus removing the passive effect but it can be decent in some situations, so C tier. So now we come to the Iron Sting, pre to play weapon and a great one at that, especially for support Kazuha, it has decent attack with elemental mastery as its main stat which is very good for Kazuha. Now the passive is also pretty decent in that every time you deal elemental damage it will increase all your damage by a certain percentage. This is a very good sword and a completely free to play friendly weapon and so I'm going to give this an A tier. So now we move on to the 5 stars. The first 5 star I want to bring up is the Mist Splitter Reforged. A very recently released weapon that's pretty good. So it has the highest attack of all swords alongside the Aquila Favonia. It has crit damage which is very nice for DPS Kazuha. Now finally the passive is an interesting one giving you elemental damage bonus depending on how many stacks you get and you get stacks depending on a variety of things and so in order to get all three stacks by himself Kazuha will need to be C6 and so that hurts it a little bit. You could also run a C6 Bennett or Chonyun to get the maximum stacks however that does restrict the party a little bit but still very good stats on it so S tier. Next up we have the Skyward Blade, a very cool looking blade that isn't too bad. And so the attack of this blade is okay in terms of 5 stars, has NG recharge for the main stat which is okay. Now the passive gives you crit rate as well as a buff that increases some stats when you use your elemental burst. So this isn't too bad but compared to some other 5 stars, especially compared to the previous 5 star, it falls a bit behind and so A tier. So next 5 star we have the Summit Shaper, an interesting blade that has decent attack and an attack main stat. So the passive is interesting with it increasing shield strength as well as increasing attack when you attack the enemy and with this bonus doubling when shielded. So attack on Katsuha while okay it's not the best stat. Also this does require you to run a shield character on the party in order to make complete use of this passive and so A tier. Now we have the Aquila Favonia. This has a huge amount of attack, the same as the Mist Splitter, has physical damage bonus, not the best, however the passive will increase your attack by quite a bit as well as regenerating and dealing AoE damage whenever your character takes damage. Now this is an okay weapon but nothing amazing but due to a huge amount of attack A tier. Now then we have the Freedom Sworn Sword. Now this was the weapon released with Kazuha and it's his best in slot at least for elemental mastery builds. So it comes with decent attack and elemental mastery main set which is great and the passive is really good. It's really long so I'm not going to read it out but this is his best in slot as long as you're going to be building him with elemental mastery. Also if you can keep up the buff then this is amazing and if you got this weapon in the weapon banner then you are very very lucky, so S plus tier. The last weapon I want to go over is the Primordial Jade Cutter. So this weapon, while it does have a low attack, it makes up with it not only with the crazy amount of crit rate it provides with the main set, as well as the passive that increases your attack depending on the HP Kazuha has, which is really good as it makes those bad HP rolls okay. So this, like the Freedom Sworn Sword, can also be best in slot 4 Kazuha, so S plus tier. If he is going for a more attack based build, he has at least 55% crit rate with his artifacts and so the main difference between this and the Freedom Sworn Sword is that if you're building Elemental Mastery, go for the Freedom Sworn Sword, otherwise this will be the better option. Also this is in the standard banner so there's that too. And so that is my Kazuha weapon tier list. Now again, like the previous weapon tier list I did with Diluc, 
Some of these weapons could definitely go up or down a slot, one could be better than the other depending on a variety of things including your own artifacts, Kazuo's constellations, as well as the individual refinement level of the weapon. But what do you think about this list? Please comment down below on how you would rate the swords and as always hope you enjoyed and see you next time.